Hey guys, hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Allison, and you are on my vlog channel. And guys, I actually did a vlog earlier in March, and I'm just here to narrate it, but at the same time, I'm also gonna vlog a little bit. Just running a little behind on my vlogs. I'm still editing and posting them, so it will continue from March. But today I'm just gonna do something interesting and just vlog a little bit and narrate. So that vlog I did when me and my mom took my cat and her two cats, one which is my brother cat. She is currently looking out for him. Looking out for the cat. So they got sick, they had eye infection and we took them to the Russian veterinarian. Bruh. Yeah, you seen it. It was a cat. The doctor prescribed some antibiotic pills and then eye drops. So we actually had to prepare some antibiotic pills. We used a syringe for that. We did not film how we did it but it was quite hard because the cats don't like being held against their will to administer their medications and eventually we had to hold them down like me holding my mom giving the, the syringe medication and eye drops and vice versa but just inserting like in their mouth opening their teeth and like putting the syringe in their mouth and just pressing down that's what pretty much we did so you want to make sure your cat is still for the medication yeah guys so that is that another thing we did is a very famous russian salad it's called herring under the fur it does include herring basically that's what it looks like as a salad and there's like a bunch of layers in it and let's put it in layer put the herring first then the onion potatoes eggs carrot and finally beets 
and then the top you just put like a mayonnaise layer and you make the egg like the crumbles of the egg like the inner the yellow part of the egg uh, and you just like put it over the salad Okay guys, so that is that. That is all we have for the salad. And basically guys, it's like 1.36 p.m. Like literally, I did wake up early. I woke up at like 9 a.m. Today is April 23rd, guys. I am still like a month and a half behind on my vlogs, but I am posting it as I go, as I try to edit. But guys, it is. It is bright out. I can't even believe that. That is really, really, really bright. And there's no more snow. It's getting warmer in St. Petersburg, Russia. So I'm kind of sad about that, but there's nothing I can do. So it's still kind of cold. We did go out to the old area that I had been to more than 10 years ago. And there's a lake. And there is a like a village next to it. It's like a village in the city. And there's like a lot of them because we are on the outskirts of this whole city. So, so the suburban area is right behind us. So it's really nice. I am gonna post another vlog when we did go out to a suburban like area called Fox Nose. So I'll post it later on in the next vlogs. But, but yeah guys. So yeah guys, let's vlog today. It is 1.38 p.m. now, but I am going to make breakfast. I know. I know. I was too lazy and too tired to make breakfast, but we're going to like combine breakfast and lunch. So I will make eggs for breakfast and for lunch, I'll just have like the chicken. But I hope you're having a great day and great spring. But anyways, guys, let's go. And if we look a little bit, I'll show you what I'm making today. And this is one cat with Cassia. Yes, I actually still have in like the winter background on my phone. I'll show you what I'm wearing. Hi hey, yo! <laughs> I'm wearing this tee and this is my ex-boyfriend t-shirt, so Whatever. Hashtag exes do come back, do they? I don't know. Uh, guys, it's just cute t-shirt and this was a really good person. I have good memories about, so even though he did break up with me, so. And guys, I also, like PJs and I'm wearing these PJs this is like members only and this is from Target <laughs> Target guys I don't know like I don't know how else to show you but this is what I'm wearing members only guys this is I think it's a, like a Target brand so uh, go to Target and I just got it online. This is the man's PJs. This is the only man's PJs I actually have. So, hi guys, this is extra large size. 
So, I'm just wearing these little scrunchies. They are from this local store called Lipkaradogi, like a rainbow smile. And I'm wearing these socks. If you watching my vlogs, I know I don't have like a big channel right now, but um, but I hope you enjoy my vlogs and watching them. And the new subscribers, welcome! Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment below. Anything you want me to make the videos about? Any requests? Yes, yeah, so if you're watching my vlogs, these are my favorite uh, cozy socks, and they're up from Walgreens. So. So this is my OOTD for today. Let's see, this is Rex. Rex, Rex say hi. Hi. This is my cat. He is currently nine and a half. Wait, nine and a half. No, he's nine months and 10 days old. So he's a baby. Are you a baby? He's a big baby. He's my favorite baby. The other cat guys okay guys so we're gonna make eggs for this I need this this but I have to wash it so <laughs> it is kind of like clean but I have to like clean it a little bit so we're gonna cook in a little bit, so I will wash this first. Uh, yeah. And you guys, I'm not wearing this t-shirt because... All right, advice for somebody who is breaking up and you do have like some stuff that they gifted, they forgot, they don't wanna, and that reminds you of that person. Don't throw that away, just put it away where you can see it for some time while you're getting over that person because afterwards you're probably gonna want this stuff and I have been disposing of some items in the past from my first very first boyfriend and uh, I had some gifts from them from the person and I actually remember that I did ended up throwing it away after we broke up they were just like a shorts t-shirt like shirt or something like that and later on i regretted it because because <laughs> they were cute so why why not and i'm just wearing this at home so oh so even if i don't have the thing i still remember now like i still think about that person like sometime in my life after we broke up so yeah I would wish to skip this step, but you have to, you have to cook, like you have to clean the dishes, right? Hey! Okay, this is done. So we washed... We washed the thing. Bruh. Alright guys, so I'm gonna prepare some eggs. I'm gonna make it with tomatoes and salt butter or like oil before the eggs so we're gonna prepare that oh my god all right all right let's make that and i'm gonna heat up the chicken we did before so how we did the chicken there was a chicken like thighs and they were raw we put them in the oil like there was just like a little oil a layer of oil on the pan on like medium to high heat and throw the, the things in there with like some some spices yeah these two spices um so this one is like the chicken on grill spices with paprika and this one is the paprika so like a bunch of those in it make sure the season is well so and we just fried it for i don't know for like I don't know, medium to high heat for like 10 minutes. Flip it, flip the chicken over in between. The rest of it was like the medium heat. Yeah, just like stew it on, we put some water in it a little bit and just stew it, so. Yeah, so it's tasty. 
and it's good. And guys, we went over yesterday. I actually went to like a post office. Unfortunately, I did not film, but the post office here looks exactly like in the United States, which I was so surprised about it. I was like, oh my God. Like, did I just literally walked in the United States Postal Service? And it looks like the same way. Like, there was stands in there, there were food. They actually was selling food in there which is not the same, but they did sell like a little things, like a little cards and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know why they sell food, but I was really grateful. So we got this one. This one is the apple, mango and mandarin juice. Hey guys, live in the brush. <laughs> like we do have like uh, the washing machine, but there's no dryer. So we have to like hang everything. And my cat is like sleeping on this, right here, on this couch. Yeah. <laughs> so I was literally like moving this thing over so I can I can reach the fridge so because I want to show you guys another juice that I got yeah we got some drinks in the post office in Russia oh baby this one this one guys this one weird <laughs> Alright guys, so my cat got a hold of my string and he's playing with it so so I actually ended up that I <laughs> it came off my pants to the way that I couldn't put it through like the one part actually disappeared in the pants so I had to take it all the way out until I can put it inserted like whatever put it back in <sighs> the right way are you happy? Are you happy? Oh, he is happy. And then like put it right here. And I tied it up in there. And he just claims that. He's so cute. He's so adorable. He's so adorable. Alright guys, so I got everything I need for breakfast. So this is the the juice that I got at the post office. And this is the other one. This one is apple and uh, apricot. Apricot is the main ingredient. So this is really good. So this is a Cuban product. I also got some of these. This is this is milk, but I guess we're gonna put it back in the fridge for now because I'm gonna make some coffee later on. So it's gonna stay in here. So yeah. Okay, right, so the next things we've got tomatoes. There is also peas in here, green peas from the can. We've got some eggs from the local veggie meat store. I've got some dill in here. And I've got some green onion. Now uh, this we're gonna cut it up and put it in the eggs that I'm making. I'm also having like the cucumber. And this is the mayonnaise. Just, just because I like everything with mayonnaise, guys. And this is just leftover, like the hot dog I had. I'm too hungry. I'm gonna eat this before I make everything else. So we'll just kind of cut this up, two of these up, 
And this is a chicken. Oh, here's a third cat. Yes. Oh no, wait. Wait, this is Cassia. And sometimes she's very vocal because usually this cat is vocal. This is Pusha. And she's currently sleeping, so. Hey yeah, guys, let's get cooking, right? What is the time? Oh my god. I can't even focus. It's 2 p.m. and it's Sunday, so. Yeah. And guys, so also what I'm gonna show you, I got this is my favorite drink. Oh my god, this is called Morse Apple Pihave. I don't know how to say it in English. I really like drinking. Like <laughs> Drinking and this is the chicken. This is the chicken. I know it's like it's been in the fridge, but it's like all fat, it got cold. So, let's put that. oh my god, like what the heck? Denied. Alright guys, so the pan fell, so we're gonna rewash it. Why does it happen? Like, why does it happen with someone who hates washing dishes? Yo! Rex, are you gonna tell me why that happens to me? No? No? Mm. Mm. I love you! I guess I forgot to mention I already fed the cats maybe like three times because I am fine. I was not hungry so I'm probably supposed to eat but I didn't. Alright guys, let's cut up some tomatoes while my camera battery is dying. Thanks. Well, it's flashing, so I'll just record until it like stops recording. And guys, let's just talk about my feedback key of these. Well, if you want to, yeah, baby. This is another, like, my mom got this one. This is lemonade. We got some cutting board, we got tomatoes. I'm just gonna cut it in pieces and we'll just do like a chit chat kind of vlog. While I'm showing you what I'm doing, I'm gonna wash this, wash the veggies. Like, I'm actually not a chief, like, how to cook stuff. Uh, I'm learning some stuff from my mom, but. All right, guys, I'm not gonna be lazy. I'm gonna insert the another camera battery before I'm like full into cooking and it dies on me. Well, that's not gonna happen. New battery. All right, guys, so we're back to our tomatoes. So we're gonna cut them up because yesterday I found out I like my fried eggs with tomatoes. And it makes it very like, I don't know, it gives like a little of a kick to your fried eggs. And for that we need this knife. Alright, so we'll do like a little chit chat. All you guys ready? Like, I'm gonna show you what I have ready. Alright, tomatoes. And we get the pan ready. And you know what guys, we're gonna put some of these olive oil in it. There's another oil that there is. Another one. Alright guys, back to me. I used to use butter, like I would just do like a little stick, butter stick. I would like put butter instead of olive oil or any other kind of oil in it. But it's fine. I guess it's fine with any oil. I don't know. I don't know the difference. Comment below if you know the difference. So, 
so i'm just gonna cut it like in pieces like these kind of pieces so uh yeah guys so let's talk about how it is hard to be a youtuber in 2023 it's really hard you literally like filming and nobody's watching <laughs> like i don't know guys subscribe if you're like a new person really really helps i i try my best like i have like few video ideas that i am gonna post shortly that i have filmed already like my cat looks looking scary at the knife down my baby like all right all right i'm gonna put him down on the ground when i start this up because the stuff is gonna get hot so so the next things we're gonna cut up is these dill and green onion and also gonna put it in our fried eggs and that's it then put eggs in there <laughs> I'm fried, right? Easy as is, but I still haven't done it at by two, almost, well, 2.15 right now. Yeah. Rex is supposed to sleep like the cats. I've read the cats of this age have to sleep 18 hours a day. And he doesn't so well guys yes yeah, so let's go back to like how hard is to be a youtuber like just my advice to a new youtuber get a nice camera i'm using this camera eos rebuild t8 i and i got it i think from best buy but i was on the lookout to different kind of cameras you can actually get it from the link below in my description the camera i got pop out screen and guys also i've got this root mic also in the description also in the description guys and that is it is by road basically really nice road one and also i've got this led um this is the best quality of like the mic i actually have been having and this is led also in the description box and this is a cube lumi cube i believe yeah all right let's get back to cooking when i was choosing a camera this camera there was another cameras like older versions i guess but they have no pop out screen yeah guys yeah, so this is like the kind of stuff i got and just learning how to vlog and just learning what video it is to make we're just gonna cut it and like so the previously i cut this also in pieces but the rest we're just gonna cut it this way so all right guys uh, yeah also let's talk about like the plans for today there's a few things i gotta do i have to go to the pharmacy to get the contact lenses and yay new contact lenses i have not been wearing them in a long time so so it's really nice to have it again i do have these glasses i got from america's best eyeglasses and contact store and the doctor there is really great to like Right, the prescription that's why i would go like for years for the last 10 years i lived in the usa stuff for my eyes i'm gonna turn on the thing i don't know like on six <laughs> yeah guys so another thing i have to go do is take a bath the bath is clean so i have to like go wash my hair and stuff but today's the last day to get the contacts from the pharmacy as it's been ordered online. <laughs> oh, guys, okay, so we have to do this and that. Next thing we're gonna do is 
the plates or just mixed the, the tomatoes, used the eggs. Did it say eggs? <laughs> what did it say? Like, alright, so these are eggs, and we got them from like a local store. It has like a, I don't know, like the. I don't know where to get the eggs from, but I think they're more like a home or like a country eggs. I should like when they just the slit and I cut the slit in the middle. Oh, those are nice eggs. I think we'll do three. It's, they even have like the feathers on them. Guys, I guess I think I think it's good. We're just gonna mix it down, and we're gonna put some actually salt in it. Some this is the sea salt with iodine from a store called OK. Too much. Last time I put too much in it. So normally I cook like two eggs, but I put a lot of tomatoes in it. So and we are very hungry. So yeah. I'm just gonna make a scramble like that. And let's cut up some onions and dill. Alright, so we're gonna mix it up. In the meantime, I'm gonna heat, cut up this stuff. Also gonna wash some of them, so... Well, I'm gonna take some of them and wash all of them. Too much, I don't know. But you gotta continue, like, uh, when you're making scramble eggs, you gotta continue, like, mixing it because we're just gonna put it on lower heat. It was on six, which is like medium to high, I guess. And I'll put them on two while it's cooking. While it's cooking. <sighs> yeah. Yay! I love deal. Do you guys love deal? I personally do. And again, wash that. Oh, pushka. Push. 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 So I cut it up and like little pieces that I have left over from the deal, I give it to the cat. See, baby. And he just plays with it, so. It's a fair game. All right guys, so we've got all these in there. Put it all in there. Put a bit higher. Oops. So that is there. I just want to heat it up, guys. Guys, also, let's talk about how hard this adulting is. It's been really hard. Is it for you too? I don't know, I've had like 10 years of it and I'm still learning stuff. I still feel like a baby.
All right, guys, let's heat up some chicken. I'm having some chicken. I'm actually gonna drink probably some of these juice. Yeah, you're supposed to mix it. Because there's a nectar on the bottom or like, I don't know, pulp on the bottom. So I'll just drink it. That's good to have for breakfast, like a orange juice or whatever. Well, I'm gonna have this juice. I love it. All right, let's see. I think I'm done cooking. Sure. Alrighty. I think it's ready. I basically like warmed up this stuff, and I think that's all I'm gonna do. So we're gonna heat up this chicken and a piece of like a little bit hot dog over. This is this apricot juice. Alright guys, that's that. At least I got some food ready. <laughs> Alright, let's cheers. Damn guys, it's cold. Like I like everything room temperature and I just remember it was in the fridge, so we're gonna heat it up. Yeah, just for like 30 seconds we're gonna heat it up and drink it. Yeah guys, so what is up with you today? I actually um, like these juices that are mixed flavors like apple and apricot, apple and like other stuff or orange and mango and other stuff. Like what about you? Like how do you like it? Or do you like the regular like orange? use the cucumber I think it's in depth of grains but I'm gonna put some of these peas from can and that's I think that's what I'm gonna do these guys are playing you can kind of playing So Rex is like nine, right? I was still nine months old and ten weeks. Nine months old and ten days. He is. And Pusha is like four years old and Kasa is two and a half years old. So, but they do play with each other. All right, guys. I heat up this chicken and a piece of hot dog. Rex, you guys stop fighting, Rex. guys but we are gonna use the mayo <laughs> this is my mayo all right so I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna see you later uh, also I think next thing I'm gonna do is actually go take a bath 
and get myself ready to go to the pharmacy and then walk to the pharmacy really quick because I don't really want to be going there and then come back here and edit vlogs. Subscribe! I'm gonna show you the end product of my breakfast slash lunch. I guess it's called brunch. Maybe. Maybe not. As like, as like adulting, like just making some food, it's just making me so happy that I was able to make something like that. Yay! Drink. This is not the end. I'm. I was gonna make some coffee, guys. Yeah, I was gonna make some coffee. So I use actually. Afterwards, I'm gonna make coffee. I'm gonna vlog how I do it. But I use this three-in-one mix. This is a Russian brand, but it is like a similar American brand, like you can find whatever whatever country you're watching me from. So this is coffee, sugar, and creamer. Three in one, and it's like a plum beer ice cream flavor, so I love it. And I heat up some milk, like a little cup of milk, not a lot because I don't want to put too much mix mix in too much water because then it's gonna be too watery and I like it concentrated. So I just pour it in like a small cup of milk, just very very small, <laughs> not too small, but enough to be able to drink like a cup of coffee, not the espresso shot, nothing like that, just this amount maybe maybe this much and I heat up the milk in the microwave and then I pour the mix in and mix it up and it's very sweet and tasty I love everything sweet everything creamy everything like really really like concentrated sweet so so it's good for me but you can also mix it in with water or more amount of milk stuff like that but i don't like it that way so but i'll show you how i do it later on let me eat first because i'm lazy and i have to hurry up and eat before before i get too hungry like hungry hungry i forgot the fork like what a fork <laughs> cheesy joke One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, 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 It is 4.05 p.m. A little bit change of plans. I'm thinking to go to the pharmacy first versus going to, to take a bath because guys I've got like like my nail was coming off so I was gonna rip it off completely like it was like the ending was coming off so it was safe to take off but as I was trying to take it off and I was gonna wash my hair so I didn't want it to get caught on my hair it was like it was cutting off while the skin is still attaching so since I have to go to the pharmacy I'm thinking to get some of the bandages because this one will come off and this one is like a Mickey Mouse <laughs> so yeah but I want to show you guys also what I got from the store yesterday I got this like cute brace.
this next thing I actually got these jeans from Glory Jeans and they're really nice they're like very nice color it's like light blue <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, let's make some coffee. Alright guys, so we're gonna have some muffins. These are muffins, these boiled sour cream, and the shunka milk. I'll have some juice and uh, this coffee and this is just some uh, Dallas pie and there's another pie so I don't know which one of these French pie something like that then my family so we're gonna have that and guys afterwards I'm gonna look over on uh, draft city it's like a website where I can look over like some stuff from pharmacy and maybe find some wound care or something else that I can rub my finger because it really hurts like part of my nail is like missing where it's supposed to be where it's not outgrown so it really hurts if, if I'm touching something with that area so yeah another change of plans is I'm gonna put dishes in the dishwasher to save some time milk milk like I said guys not only the milk this kind of probably puts that much
I will super French one just has like a lemon stuff in it kind of but it's very soft about what it's like starting your life new at 30 years old uh, if you are feeling behind don't because you're not alone there are so many who don't know what they're doing in their life and including me no family no career and you are over 30 that sucks so there's many other things suck so just put your goals, write your goals down, who you want to be in five years, where your life, where you want your life to be in five years. So that's what I'm doing. But at the same time, take it day by day. Take it like one day at a time. You only live today. You don't have yesterday and you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So all you have is live now. But it's good to plan for future, but also not live in the future. And forget your past. Who cares what happened? You don't live in the past. You live in the present. So... So yeah, stay focused on that and just build it like a Lego, like one thing at a time. And that's what I have to do since moving here. I just have to start my life new, start it over and build it from the start. Yeah guys, so that is that. There's some other thing that I really like or I would like to do is manifesting board. It's when you just put like a board and you write down your goals what you want to achieve what you want to have and just have it like where you can look at it every day just keep you motivated so i think that's a good thing to do and who knows it might be work and i know for maybe for some people who does it it works i put the milk in the microwave for too long i guess so i opened the microwave and the milk was all over so that's why there is something in here, but, but overall it's okay. Like I just didn't want to make it too, make it cold. Like, like it would still, if it was still be cold, I don't like it. So I wanted to make sure it's heated up. But I wanted to prevent this, but there's nothing I can do. Alright guys, so I'm going to this website, Drift City. And I wrote down like a few things I want to find like the supplies and see if we can find any alternatives And I'm gonna run quickly to this pharmacy and be done with that. I found some stuff I need. And I ordered it, but it's not gonna be ready today, so 
For today, it's gonna be a trip uh, to get some other stuff. I'm gonna see if they have any bandages, but I don't think I need it today. So I think I'm fine. My finger is fine. So yeah, she's like on here. <laughs> This is how bad it is. Pretty much down to the meat. Yeah, I gotta take the nail polish off. Breaks. So these are my 8 p.m. OOTD. Basically, it's getting warm. My mom wearing this insulated overall I got on Amazon. Wearing this jacket I got from Yitzi. This jacket, I mean sweatshirt. <laughs> Basically, like a Merry Christmas on that. I think it's like a Santa Claus. Get here, maybe. Come on back. All right. I'm still curled, curry. And then I'm just wearing like a socks from the store cold. Mayfair and it's a US store, so yes, yes, guys. So I'm just gonna let them walk a little bit down here in the hallway and I'm gonna go to the pharmacy. Hi, guys, I'm gonna continue vlogging with this phone, so I'm just gonna go to this bed. 
here and I'm going in this elevator. You guys are such cutest things in the whole world. Like, like, oh my god. I'm like, baby, you're gonna say how sleepy you are. I know. Are you guys gonna walk now because you deserve it? You are.
guys, I just got back home and I brought the stuff from pharmacy. Guys, I want to talk about what happened is why it took me so long just to get out of the door like I have a huge social anxiety I literally shaking going to the store like any store like I'm afraid of people like I know like they're internally like I know they're nice and all and like just go and pick up your stuff from the store like I literally instead of like there was one order already ready for me to go and pick up in pharmacy you can actually order it online and pick it up on like a store called Strap City or Apteker or something like that you know they're all by the window they're so cute you think it's so cute Apteca Rue, so yes. So, uh, but the second one, like I could actually go to the store and just ask for it. There was just one tube of like cream and I just didn't want to do that. I have such a huge anxiety that I rather just order and just tell them to like a number of the order and pay for it. And I don't know, it's like, it's everything. Like if I go to the grocery store, any store or for any interactions, people like I have huge like anxiety attack and I have to make up words and like remember what I'm gonna say in my head. So I don't have to be like when somebody like, when I go to the store and I don't know what to say, I literally go so bad that I have to prepare a speech when I go to the store. And especially here, I have to speak a different language. So I do actually have to, remember the words correctly and be like very polite <sighs> like how do I ask like in English can I please have this right and then here there are different ways of saying it and I want to make sure I'm polite speaking at the store and yeah guys so yeah you can say can I have this or oh, I'm here to get this like different kind of words you can say when you go to the counter in the store or yeah <laughs> I don't know like I don't know but whatever whatever that is it's hard to deal with so it did literally took me six hours to get ready just to get myself to that star and I was gonna put it off I was gonna just go there tomorrow there's a different order with all the wound care in that order is delivered tomorrow to the pharmacy and I figured well I'll just go tomorrow but instead like do stuff today and don't put it off for tomorrow because tomorrow is gonna be the same thing tomorrow is gonna be I'll do tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow <laughs> so yes <laughs> yeah, that, that is that my advice for somebody who's dealing with social anxiety just do it get over with and move on with your day and that's like I try to like follow the policy but it's hard all right, let me show you what I got from pharmacy. Yay, yay. So we got some stuff. I've got this cream, it's called Border Plus. It's actually been recommended when I went to dermatologist. Um, about a month ago i'm gonna it's gonna come in the next vlog because i'm just posting this like a little life update and i'm gonna continue editing like the previous vlog and i had like the i thought what i thought i had the infection by like a fungi i don't know it's like a i don't know very very serious infection on my shoulder and i went to dermatologist here they did a swab like a cell and they put it in the laboratory they sent it to the lab to check for any like mushrooms fungal infection anything like serious stuff like that and came back negative so they did say it was an allergic reaction so probably something like that and they recommended this so that is kind of stuff but it also works for everything it's really like moisturizing cream also they did say there might be an eczema which I known to suffer I was never diagnosed but I had some on my hand like that's why I always put my lotion on my hands whenever it gets like dry because I don't want to flare up that and it seemed to be working but, but Nevertheless, I always use hand lotion because I hate grays. And there's this one. This is the first, basically, um, order. 
And guys, funny things happen. I did not film inside the pharmacy, but the funny thing happened is the, there is a guy that walked in behind me and I got all like my orders. And here in this country, like you have to buy bags. Like if you don't want a bag, like you don't have to, but they also don't give you bags, like free bags. And I did bring my bag with me from the store called Lenta. And this is a shopping bag that I just decided to stick with me because I didn't think I'm gonna bring my items from pharmacy in my hands I figured I'll just get that bag so and then there was a guy behind me when I paid for my order and I was like I tried to put everything like in a bag and it doesn't go in so I just like, rubbed it in the brain because of that social anxiety because I was like I was like oh my god I don't want to make anybody wait I don't want to um like my hands were shaking like rubbing things that's weird but it is what it is but the pharmacy uh, lady was very nice. That kind of helps to ease my stuff with my mental, social anxiety, like panic attack. I would like even put it as a panic attack. Wow, guys, the size of this is so big. This is Renu. And this is the solution for the contacts. And I'm gonna try to find a picture of what, what I used to use in the US of the solution, like my favorite. That is... Oh, so sweet. And guys, this is the travel, like... Travel size for any traveling that might be coming in the future yeah this is the most expensive item <laughs> guys these are the contacts oh my god i have not had this in such a long time and it's a two week replacement uh contact uh and there are wrist transitions so basically when you're like on the sun it's supposed to i don't know if it makes changes on like the color of the lens but it does protect from the uv i mean the regular ones also do but these ones i guess it like makes it darker but it won't matter on my eyes because my eyes are already dark and if it does I don't know. Yay! And there's two boxes of the contact lens. Contact lens cases, I mean. So cute. They're like in these little boxes. I guess there are like a few of them in there and not just one. Or maybe there is one. I don't know. Yeah, you guys, so that is all I got from pharmacy. I may end up getting the wound care. There were just different uh, gauze pads. There were different kind of like the gauze wraps. There is a tape and I found like a kid uh, bandages of like the Russian equivalents. But I'll find pictures of what I would use in America because I was really into like a wound care, protecting myself for any infections, like it cuts or I had like a wound from the knife cutting my finger very deep very scary and i was in the healthcare profession before so i learned a lot of stuff about wound care and what to use but i did buy it from a special medical store uh i think it was medline but i'll find like a right one for you guys uh my favorite store <laughs> and uh here they also do have them but they do have a lot of professional stuff in the regular pharmacy here so guys also this is this has been bought in the past but now it's gonna come handy and these are the eye drops i also gonna post the equivalent of the ones i used in the us just a picture because i currently don't have it anymore but this is the eye drops like you're supposed to use it to moisture your eyes between the wearing of the contact lenses so that is that and it is recommended here by the eye doctor so in cut your norm these ones the eyes eye drops 
another one. So these are basically just the, the thing of the eye drops. And this has individual ones. Oh, yeah, guys. Guys, that is that. I came back to a full bathtub of water. Uh, and I'm gonna actually take just like a bath. Like, how? Baby, get down. Jesus Christ. He thinks it is free. <laughs> Baby. So yeah, I previously recorded this outro because I was afraid to forget to do an outro. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. So I'm gonna take actual like just about go to sleep, but I'm gonna end this vlog so and I hope you guys enjoy your evening because it's an evening now. <laughs> Yay, it's evening. Whatever time you're watching. In the US, it's probably a daytime. It's currently 9.18 p.m. I'm very proud for myself going to the store. But anyways, guys, subscribe, like, and comment below and post notification bell to stay up to date with my videos. And stay positive. Positive. Peace.
See you.